The property details is the first input screen of the Speed Equity Software Program, and the information is very, very straightforward and very easy to enter. Let me walk you through that process. The first item is the description that you want to call this primary property or this primary debt. And you can simply type in whether this is your family home, your vacation property, or your rental property. Next comes the state or the province in which this property is located. You simply make a selection from the drop down menu list. The name of the lender, very, very straightforward. You simply type that into this field. Next comes the property value. It doesn't matter if you don't know what the exact property value is for your property right now just make an estimate because we don't actually take this figure into the calculations at this stage but we will do in the next upgraded version of the software program moving along we move to the start month of your speed equity plan when do you intend to start again make a selection from the drop down menu list the start year of your speed equity plan once again drop down menu list very very straightforward mine says 2005 because that's when I created this particular account next comes the amount owed as of the start month and the start year so all you have to do is let's say you intend to start the program in April of 2009 you simply look at your loan statement and that'll tell you how much you owe on April of 2009 and simply enter that into this input field and this is the uh, field that you have to be very diligent, very aware about how to enter the information correctly. The current payment for this loan and do not include property taxes, insurance or escrow because the program will assume that those payments that your lender takes out of your payments on a monthly basis are actually going toward amortizing this loan which isn't the case. So current payments for this loan, all you have to do is look at your loan statement look at the amount that you're paying toward that loan and then it will also have the amount that the lender is deducting from that payment to set aside for escrow you simply subtract the escrow amount from the payments and that is the information that you enter in this field the frequency of payments all you have to do is select from the drop down menu list monthly weekly or bi-weekly which means every two weeks and finally the current interest rate for this loan. Again, look at your loan statement and that'll tell you exactly what the interest rate is for this particular debt. Once you've done that, make sure you click on save. Now, this is very, very important. If you don't do that, then the screen is going to uh, refresh and it's going to blank everything out. It's very important that you click on save wherever that feature happens to be shown in every one of these input screens. So click on save and then click on continue to the next screen. 